the sets of numbers. So the first set of numbers is the set of natural numbers. Natural numbers are the numbers which we use for counting objects in everyday life, such as 1, 2, 3, all these positive integers. So all positive integers are natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, up to infinity. So how we represent the set of natural numbers? We represent with the capital letter N written in this manner. And now we start a curly bracket or a parenthesis you can say. And then we say 1, 2, 3 and then we don't have to write all these. Just put dot 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 and close the bracket. So this is the set of natural numbers. Now you notice that 0 is not included in this set of natural numbers. But we do need 0 because if we subtract two exactly same numbers, 1 minus 1, what we get? We get 0. N is number. If we subtract the same number from itself, we get 0. So if we add 0 to the set of natural numbers, then we get the second set of numbers, which is the set of whole numbers. So whole numbers is a set of numbers which is nothing but a 0 included in the set of natural numbers. So this is represented by W. and Start the curly bracket and start from 0, 1, 2 and then put dot dot and this is the set of whole numbers. Very simple. So set of natural numbers and set of whole numbers are very simple to understand. There is no confusion at all. The third one is the set of integers. And to understand the set of integers, just to recall the number line, you must have seen this number line in year 6 or so. And the center of this number line is the number 0. And on the right side are positive integers 1, 2, and on the negative side there are negative integers so now minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so from 0 to this direction is our set of whole numbers But we haven't talked about this side of the number line. These are negative integers. And we combine all these. When we combine all these, the whole numbers, meaning the positive integers, and the zero, these are the positive integers. positive integers, then 0 and then negative integers. So when we combine all these numbers, we get the set of integers. So a set of integers is represented by Z and this includes 
first put dot 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 for the negative infinite then few negative numbers then zero then few positive numbers and then you can put this dot again so this is the set of integers very simple you just need to add negative integers to the set of whole numbers and you get the set of integers now the fourth type of numbers are rational numbers and just look at the word ratio rational numbers are those numbers which can be represented in the form of a divided by b with two conditions number one that a and b should be integers positive or negative doesn't matter and second condition is that b should not be equal to zero because if b is zero then the value is indetermined we cannot find the value of a divided by b so all those numbers which can be represented in the form of a ratio a divided by b are rational numbers so some numbers are quite clear for example 2 divided by 4, 50 divided by 10, or 5. All these numbers, they are clearly rational numbers. But what about some of the decimal numbers, such as 0 0.82? Of 1.25 so what about these type of numbers are they rational numbers are not rational numbers and also there are some other numbers these are the numbers which first these are the numbers which actually terminates these are the terminating decimals because after two decimals there are no more decimals similarly this is a terminating decimal number there would be more decimals but if the decimals are terminating decimals then this is another story but there are some numbers which never terminate such as 0 0.333 and it goes on and on so these are non-terminating numbers And if you look carefully that this 3 is repeating, so therefore we will say that this is a non-terminating because it never terminates and non-repeating, uh, sorry, repeating. These are non-terminating repeating decimals and you can have some more examples of these such as if you look at the number 1 divided by 7 this is a rational number of course and this will be equal to 0.33 2857 and it repeats again 142857 so this is also an and it never terminates it goes forever so this is also a non terminating and repeating decimal number but this i have given you an example that i you can see that because this is a fraction so this can be 
represented as a rational number. This is a rational number. So it turns out that all non terminating repeating decimals are also rational numbers. All those decimals which are non terminating but repeating, there is a repetition, and these repeating numbers are written normally in this form 0 0.3 with a bar at the top. It means the 3 repeats forever. Similarly, this number can be written as 0 0.142857 with a bar because all these six digits repeat forever. So it turns out that all non terminating but repeating, non terminating but repeating numbers are rational numbers and these numbers are clearly rational numbers now what about these numbers these are terminating numbers terminating decimals these are terminating decimal numbers To look at 0 0.82 0 0.82 can be written as 0 0.82 multiplied by 100 and divided by 100 which is equal to 82 divided by 100 so this can be written as a fraction so it means all terminating decimal numbers can be written so it means all terminating decimal numbers can be written as a fraction and these are all rational numbers 1.25 again this number can also be written in the form of fraction which would be equal to after simplification 125 divided by 100 so it means all terminating numbers are rational numbers terminating decimal numbers are rational numbers how long it may be for example if it's a very long number let us say it's 0 0.1256 it's not repeating but after a certain time it terminates there is no dot dot it doesn't go further it terminates here terminates here so any terminating number will be a rational number any decimal number which terminates is a rational number similarly any non terminating but repeating number would be a rational number and these are very simple that they are already in the form of a fraction and b is not equal to zero and both a and b are integers so these are clearly rational numbers so there are these ty three types of rational numbers these three types of numbers are rational numbers